Hello everyone, welcome to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Today we are at day 69 of 111 days verification challenge. The skill set which we are focusing on right now is system Verilog. Today's topic will be randomization, which is constraint randomization in system Verilog. This is a very important topic specifically for verification engineers. Because as verification engineers, we always need to randomize our stimulus so that we can cover a lot of scenarios, even the ones which we would have not thought of. That's why randomization is very important. The good thing is I have already covered this topic in detail. If you see Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel, you will find a series specifically on randomization. There is a complete series which is completely focused on randomization. Please go through all the lectures in that series which will help you to understand constraint randomization in detail and that will help you to solve these challenge questions also. Because a lot of concepts and very important concepts in randomization are covered in that series along with a lot of coding examples as well. Now let's see today's question. The first question is what is the need of randomization and verification? What is the meaning of constraints in system Verilog? And what are different types of constraints? We have an if system Verilog. Even for this, the video lecture is already present. You need to explain what is this if else constraint. Then we have bidirectional constraint. Again, you can find the explanation for this. Please go through that randomization series in detail. A lot of questions you can solve through that itself. Then next we have what is the difference between these two operators in randomization? This and this operator. You can explain this with the help of coding example. First, you can try to use this operator and then try to use the se second, the next operator and see what is the difference which you are getting. What is STD? Then scope resolution operator randomize. You need to explain this. What is the difference between keywords RAND and RAND C? This also we have covered. How do you implement RAND C function in system Verilog? So this you can explain with the help of example. Create a coding example for RAND C function. There is a concept of seed and randomization. You need to explain what is its significance. What is the difference between dollar $random and dollar $u $random? What is difference between pre-randomize and post-randomize? Is it possible to override existing constraints? Say I already have certain constraint and I want to override it. Is it possible? If yes, you need to explain it with the help of coding example. Then I have few coding examples for you. Suppose that you have a 7-bit variable you need to write a constraint for a condition for alternate bits position value is 1. It's a 7-bit variable and you want to create a constraint so that the alternate at alternate bit positions the value should be 1. The remaining values can be anything. Just at the alter, alternate bit position it should be 1. Uh, the next coding example is A is a 32-bit input to a that, that is design under test with clock and RST. Clock, CLK is the clock signal, RST is the reset signal and A is the 32-bit input. The outputs are 32 bits B and C. When A is 0, A of 0 is 1. The 0th bit of A which is the input is 1 then A equal to B and when the 0th bit of A is 0 then A equal to C it means C takes C is the output C takes the value of A when the 0th bit of the input A is 
zero and b takes the value of a when the zeroth bit of input a is one write the constraints for this stud write the constraints which will which will be as per this whatever we have said so all these questions today and as i said you can take help of the randomization series which is already available in system in sweety speaks official youtube channel the complete series is already uploaded with the help of that understand the randomization concept and solve these questions and tomorrow i'll see you for day 70 challenge best luck